Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So today we are going to learn briefly about diamagnetic materials. So what are these diamagnetic materials? In diamagnetic materials, the materials they move from a region of uh, strong to a region of weak magnetic fields. Okay. Unlike a, a magnet would attract metals like iron, uh, the same magnet would repel a diamagnetic substance. Okay, examples of uh, diamagnetic materials include bismuth, copper, lead, silicon, nitrogen, HTP, NaCl, etc. <coughs> so, what happens really is, uh, you see, uh, the why this topic? First of all, the phenomena of diamagnetism, first of all, is present in all substances. It is quite intriguing for us to know this and uh, but the problem is the effect is not um, pronounced heavily because there the presence of paramagnetism and ferromagnetism you know overtakes the effect of diamagnetic materials you know uh, there are some substances known as uh, superconductors and these are called the most exotic diamagnetic material superconductors at low temperatures they behave like a perfect conductor and a perfect diamagnetic material here in a superconductor the field lines are completely expelled from the magnet and uh, as a result of which uh, there is an effect known as Meissner effect okay the phenomena of the complete expulsion of magnetic field from a diamagnetic material is called a Meissner effect. So, one uh, small theory about diamagnetism and it leads to various endings and various conclusions. So, I hope that uh, you dig you know, further into the studying diamagnetism and uh, knowing about superconductors to a large extent. So, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.